We all scream, maybe from happiness, anger, fear, shock, pain, but why so much screaming in metal? And how do we do it without destroying our voice? Nare and I are gonna find out. We'll likely never know when screaming and music first intersected, but the best guess is that it occurred in tribal music from around the world. After hearing a common Viking vocalization, a 10th century Arab traveler in Denmark said this, Never before have I heard uglier songs than those of the Vikings. The growling sound coming from their throats reminds me of dogs howling, only more untamed. Sounds pretty metal, right? Screaming has appeared in operas and avant-garde compositions going back to the 1800s. But for its first appearance in pop music, many people point to blues musicians who often had to yell over the crowds in the clubs they played. One example is a song deemed too scary for radio, Screamin' Jay Hawkins' 1956 classic, I Put a Spell on You. Because But the real groundwork for metal came with Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath. Both bands took the blues and made it heavier, adding theatrics and, of course, the howling of Ozzy Osbourne and Robert Plant. That's when metal screaming really took off, whether it was the barroom mania of ACDC, the leather-clad intimidation of Judas Priest, or the black metal bands of Europe. I don't have that much knowledge about metal, hardcore, what is it? Metal, metal core? Hardcore? Metal or, or metal. hardcore music. Metal. Yeah, I, I don't know that much about metal. This is, I like this head voice. That first bit was quite, maybe not beautiful, but it was quite refined. He had the vibrato going real yeah, high. Yeah. I, I thought that was cool. It's so recognizable too, that, that yeah. specific tone of, of screaming. Yep. I don't think I've ever screamed like that ever, even. Just in in life. I can see how. Oh. The areas that I did notice in metal were the the virtuosity of the players, the guitarists, yes. the drummers. The drummer, metal drumming, double bass pedal, and like how Super fast you have to be. Yeah, how fast you have to be. But I never really thought about the screaming, and I just thought, okay, that's just part of the genre, but. Now that I think about it, I'm sure it takes a lot of energy, a lot mm -hmm. of technique. It, it seem, there seems to be more to it than I previously thought, maybe. I think it'd be hard to, to sing and scream and growl that way while, you know, banging your head though, kind of up and down. But hey, that's, they, that's, they, that's they that's do new. it though, they do it. Like, <laughs> like. <laughs> so that's kind of how you do it. <laughs> That was cold. Cool. I'm glad. Glad y'all got. No, glad y'all like that. When you're playing aggressive music, you have to give yeah, an aggressive performance. It. For me, it's like this is a very emotional experience yeah. playing this sort of music. So how do these metal vocalists scream? Well, they basically do it just like babies. <laughs> Dr. Krzysztof Izdevski of the Pacific Voice and Speech Foundation told Inside Science, "A little baby has all the sounds. It has the sounds of scream and growl." and inhalation, and high pitch, and whistle, and low pitch. I'm not really a metal kid, I'm just kind of a den mother. And what I just did is I made my true vocal folds flutter. When you speak, your vocal folds, which are at the top of your windpipe, they come together like this, right? They're actually horizontal in your body, but I'm gonna do it like this, you can see better. When we talk, they do this. When we sing, they do waves, cycles per second. They're pitches, right? In other words, this is like A440, right? If you're singing A, that's 400, that is 440 sound waves per second. When I sing that note, my vocal folds vibrate 440 times per second, right? But in screaming, it's not a repeating periodic wave, it's chaos. It's a flutter. It's like a fart. It's like, like that. What's the maintenance or like what are exercises you do? Oh, so I just do normal really... vocal warm ups, like okay. entirely, just your like basic run of the mill vocal warm ups. Okay. Um, 
first two shows that I ever did doing vocals like this, I like destroyed my voice. Word. And you know, I haven't blown out my voice since then because I figured out like, okay, well this is just how you do it. It's and, how you take care of Yeah, it's just like, you just, not like you're just gonna go for a run and like be like, okay, I can run a marathon no. now and I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna uh. be fine. And actually, no, you have to like warm up, you have to stretch, you have to practice. For instance, opera singers also like, really push their voice. I could guarantee you that we sort of all use our diaphragms in the very similar ways. I just learned how to use it different, a little bit differently. You your own texture. <laughs> exactly. Okay. You can't imitate this. When you imitate, you're in your left brain, right? That's the brain that does math problems. <laughs> but like when you're a kid on the playground and you're going, I'm a fireman, you're just like straight up right brain. So I have to take all the technical information and put it in the right brain. And that's how it gets super wacky. Because I say, okay, pretend you're a cat. Uh, pretend you're a cat that has laryngitis. Right, you know, but you cannot think about your diaphragm and you can't think of air in your windpipe because there's no neural steering wheels to close your vocal folds in the front or the back. I just pretend there's particles coming out of my eyes that I go, Shh! The larger the larynx and lungs, the greater your potential is for a louder scream. Some people are just built better for it, like Jill Drake, a classroom assistant from the UK. That's 129 decibels, almost as loud as a gunshot and definitely powerful enough to damage your hearing. Okay, so screaming is a skill, but how do they compare to the great singers like Whitney Houston or Mariah Carey? Take Faith No More's Mike Patton, for example. His vocal range is reportedly over six octaves, going from E flat one to E seven. Compare that to Mariah Carey's range of G sharp two to G seven. So you don't scream because you can't sing. Screaming is just an expression of rage and it's wonderful. So you, it's not a skill that you develop uh, because you can't do anything else. Who cares if it's not music? Okay, it's theater. Okay, whatever it is, it's cool. Most importantly, it's a connection. It is an opportunity to connect. And that's what music really is, no matter what the genre is, right? The early 2000s saw the rise of a number of groups that blended thrash and hardcore metal with punk and alternative rock for mixtures of harshness and complex melodies. The genres were known as metalcore, screamo, post-hardcore, and whatever else bands and their fans decided to call them. Bands like Under Oath, Bullet For My Valentine, Bring Me The Horizon, and dozens more cut their teeth on the Warped Tour. All right, you want to call it this time? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot? Okay, uh, one, two, three. Boom. Go. Oh my god! Nare and I are going to listen to the screaming vocal track of a mystery song chosen by our producers and we're going to try to create our own music that we think would fit under it. Wait, wait, wait. What are they saying? <laughs> okay. We got a key. Okay, so it goes like... I, I'm so clueless. I don't even know where to start. If we came from a like a avant-garde angle, we don't yeah, know yeah. what the original. I'm sure the original is just like. Du -du 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like if we if we came left field with it. Mm -hmm. Let's okay. try to just find ways to use our resources. Yeah. And see if we can tap into that kind of primal energy. A lot of motives that I hear in metal are also are in baroque music. Really. Like all of the that that's that. that's Vivaldi. All of that. That's what I'm talking about. All of that. You know that's Baroque. That's Baroque music. We gotta get see. Yeah, we gotta get all of that into the track. Stand up and scream. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now that you've heard our version, let's listen to the original. Uh, 
Uh, I knew it was going to be a six. I knew it. Oh, my God. Oh, mm. interesting. Good, good, good. I totally hear it now. I mean, you have to be very on top of your playing. Your rhythm has to be spot on. Off, I mean. Hardcore players. Da -da 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 -da